Let's understand why hydrogen and helium gets heated and all the other gases gets cooled down when they expand in adiabatic condition at room temperature. We know that the heating and cooling depends on the value of mu. Mu is, yes, you are correct, Joule Thomson coefficient. When mu is positive, it shows cooling effect cooling effect when mu is negative it shows heating effect but when mu is zero no effect that is the case of ideal gas right so for every gas there is a point or there is a temperature at which the value of mu becomes zero let me write that for every gas there is a there is a temperature or there is a characteristic temperature temperature at which at which mu becomes zero and that temperature is called inversion temperature that temperature is called inversion temperature inversion temperature or temperature of inversion above the temperature of inversion the gas shows heating effect and below the temperature of inversion the gas shows cooling effect above temperature of inversion ti the gas shows heating effect heating effect and below the temperature of inversion the gas shows cooling effect cooling effect so it all depends what is the temperature of the gas if it is above the inversion temperature it will always show positive sorry it will always show heating effect but if it is below the uh, temperature of inversion it will always show the cooling effect now for every gas other than hydrogen and helium for every single gas for every gas except except hydrogen and helium the value the value of ti is more than room temperature room temperature room temperature means 25 degrees celsius that is ti is more than 25 degrees celsius in case of all the uh, real gases except hydrogen and helium but on the other hand the uh, room the temperature of inversion of hydrogen is minus 80 degrees celsius and that of helium is minus 240 degrees celsius so as you can see over here the uh, inversion temperature of all the gases is more than the room temperature and that of hydrogen and helium is less than the room temperature and if we are doing the experiment in at room temperature then obviously for real gases the inversion temperature the room temperature is this this is room temperature and their inversion temperature is up inversion temperature so for inversion temperature the, sorry for inverse from the point of inversion temperature the gas is below it right the gas is below the inversion temperature so it will always show yes you are correct cooling effect cooling effect i have written over here above ti the gas shows heating effect but below ti this is below ti or it this shows cooling effect but on the other hand if you talk about hydrogen and helium then for hydrogen and helium the room temperature is over here this is the room temperature and temperature of inversion ti or it inversion temperature is over here right so for this case the at room temperature hydrogen and helium will always be above its inversion temperature so it will show yes you are correct uh, heating effect heating effect so this is the reason why hydrogen and helium gets heated at room temperature when they expand under adiabatic condition and all the other natural gases or real gases gets 
cool down okay we can find the value of ti that is inversion temperature or temperature of inversion mathematically as well by the formula ti is equal to 2a by rb where this a and b a and b are are van der waals constant and b are van der waals constant and this r is the universal gas constant so for every gas a and b are different right and r is same for every single gas so if we put the value for respective gases we get the value of temperature of inversion for those respective gases and by using this uh, by knowing the value of temperature of inversion we can predict whether this gas will heat or cool when they expand under adiabatic condition